Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file. We're jumping in again. Look at that. Oh, it brings a tear to my eye to see such a beautiful, beautiful thing. Such a beautiful thing. We have, amazingly, we have something incredible. A 10 win streak, my god. But anyways, we're going to jump in as Eve now. Eve is definitely probably my weakest character, as in like, I'm pretty bad as Eve. Um, we do have, unfortunately, an Excel flaw here as well, so say goodbye to that sweet, sweet devil deal. Um, unfortunately, that's going to go straight down the toilet, which is very unfortunate because as Eve, they are particularly quite good. Oh, what are you doing, you sausage? Don't do that. No, I'm not ready. Okay, I didn't realize he actually quelled himself off eventually. Okay, okay, please stop with this. Oh my god, I'm getting stressed out. Anyways, as for the question of the day, I was kind of having a bit of a discussion with um, with Never Named the other day, and we're kind of talking about some questions of the day. One that he thought of that'd be really good is, what's the most illegal thing that you've done? I think that's always an interesting question. Um, because I think for many people it's going to vary. I feel like, oh, you that was so close. I feel like it's like one of those questions that can have such ridiculous varying degrees um, of like severity. Where some people it's going to be like kind of crazy and other people it's going to be like really tame stuff. Um, for me, I, I don't have anything particularly crazy. Oh, this is a really rough room. I do not like this at all. I'm going to use this just to slow down the spiked block. It kind of worked, though. Um, yeah, I think that one just has such a ridiculously wide, like, arc of severity for different things and different people. Um, the two main things that I sort of came up with for mine, um, one of them is more, like, one of them's worse than the other. Um, so one of them is during school, um, and I'm sure a lot of people have done this. Maybe this is just a, just a UK thing, I don't know. But it's something, I'm going to slow this room down as well, actually. I can take you out pretty easily without worrying. Um, I don't know if it's like a, just a UK thing or, or whatnot. But anyways, when I was in school, um, me, and a lot of me and a lot of my friends used to like to um, break into like abandoned buildings and stuff. Um, so breaking and entering is definitely on that list. Um... Because we'd like break into different abandoned buildings and stuff and just kind of piss about. Um, and the, a few times there was uh, there was like guards and stuff, so it wasn't exactly easy to break in. But eh, we did it just because we wanted to. I don't know why. Also, a lot of golf courses too. Well, I say a lot. Two. There was two golf courses. Um, this item is redonkulous. We got it again. It's just so unbelievably busted. Um, so I'm very happy to have it. <laughs> Basically, as long as we're moving, we get, like, ridiculous damage. Uh, this is another room I want to slow down here. Honestly, even though it's only eight seconds of slowdown, I'm liking it a lot. Yeah, this item's really, really good. It's, 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 it's a bit too good. Uh, especially considering it gives a burn heart as well. Like, it giving the burn heart is just completely unnecessary. But yeah, uh, yeah, like I said, another thing, there was two golf courses near to where I lived and we used to um, break onto those quite a lot and just hang about. And one one thing that happened, actually, is kind of a, a bit of a tangent, but I feel like I've got to... I feel like I've got to say it anyway. It's got to go through it. Is, um... I actually, um... Probably made one of the largest errors of my entire life on one of those golf courses. Um, that being that um, we were all... So what we used to do is... We used to go onto the golf course, and then between all of the holes, there was, like, between the green, there was, uh, like, little sort of mini forest bits, like, bit, sort of tree bit, uh, wooded areas. So we would always, like, go and hang around in the wooded areas and stuff like that. Um, and in one of these, there was this really massive, like, really old sort of dead log. Um, and um, we used to just, like, sit on that, hang around, sit, sit around on that. And um, we'd done that a few times. It... It had been something we'd done multiple times. It wasn't like a brand new thing for us. Um, I'm going to leave that there for now. Um, yeah, it wasn't like a brand new thing for us. We'd done it before. And uh, so anyways, we were doing that as, as we had prior. Um, and for some reason, one time, I was sat on the very end of the log and I was holding like a stick in my hand. And I decided to whack the stick that we were sat on. I don't know, I'm just messing around. I wasn't doing it for any specific reason or anything. But anyways, I, I whack the stick on the log. 
turns out something we'd never known before is that log was a wasp's nest. And uh, of course, hitting a wasp's nest um, and making a lot of noise aggravates the wasps. And so all of a sudden, this small wooded area that we were sitting just suddenly became absolutely full of wasps. And I mean full. There were so many wasps. It was actually insane. Um, Sty is really good here. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to take this. It's exactly what I was hoping for. Um, and I'm going to completely ignore that. I'm going to completely ignore that. Um, but yeah. Uh, this is risky, but I'm going to try this. Yes, it paid off. It paid off in a major way. Love that. Um, grab that soul heart. Is there any more stuff I can do with flight? Probably not. I'll do this other room here, though. Um, this is a really good start as Eve here. Really good start. We've uh, become a bit of a powerhouse here. I'll even grab that as well. And we are pretty much good to go here. I'm doing some of these extra rooms here because kind of why not. Um, yeah, and, and obviously this entire area just filled with a plume of wasps. And wasp stings aren't as painful as, um, as bee stings, but they, they do still hurt. And especially in numerous amounts, they hurt a lot. Well, the other thing you may be, you may be considering, you may be thinking about right now is, aren't you, like, aren't you not supposed to be on this golf course? I'm not a big fan of this, uh, this book, to be honest. I'll take it as, like, a book, but, um... And you're not supposed to be on this golf course. Yes, that's very true. So, to get away from these wasps, of course, we start getting stung by them. Um, we all run out of the wooded area onto the green of the golf course, all of us screaming. And there's also like a little ditch, like a moat of water around the, the wooded area that we're on that you normally have to jump over. So all of us basically trip and fall and run, get all of our feet wet and everything as we're running out of this wooded area, basically kicking and screaming. People that were actually playing golf must have been baffled by what the hell was going on, to be honest. It was pretty bizarre for them, I think. <laughs> I don't know for sure, but I'm fairly sure they must have been a bit confused at what the hell was going on, to be honest. Um, and yeah, I, I got stung, I think, six times. And a few other people got stung a good few times as well. Um, it was, the like, the first sting was, was painful. But, like, because of, fuck this item, fuck it so hard. I will never touch you ever again. Ever. Stay out of my life, you stupid item. Horrible. Anyways, anyways. Um, yeah, so we all come, like, running and screaming out of this area, and um, yeah, the, f the first sting, it's like, it hurts, but, like, because we were running away from literally a swarm of wasps, the adrenaline was pretty high, so, like, I had a pretty high pain tolerance at the time, was mostly okay, but by like the, f I, 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 I vividly remember this, by like the fourth and fifth sting, I was starting to get really faint, cause like, the, cause of the pain. Oh my god, we got so much health here, what the hell? Yeah, I was getting really faint because of the amount of pain that I was in. Um, it was, it was really, really starting to hurt, and like, I remember like, running through this, um, golf course, like, thinking, oh no, I'm about to pass out, like, I am about to faint, this is really bad. Um, it was, it was pretty horrific. Um, and yeah, that's, that's probably one of the, the largest errors of my entire life. <laughs> uh, that, yeah, that is, that is definitely one of the largest, largest errors that comes to mind. Like, it's one of those things that's like, it was terrible in the time, but it's, it's a good story, and it's, it's kind of a, not a fun memory, but, like, it's an interesting memory to have, sort of thing. Um, but anyway, sort of back to the original question of the day, where this sort of line of thought came from. Um, taking the soul heart here. Ooh, wait. We're at 299 on our donation machine. I think we'd already been to 300 prior. I think we bombed it last episode. Um, or oh, episode before that, I don't remember. But still. Um, if we get a penny, we should try and put one in there. Um, yeah, the, the other thing, um, illegal that I have done is, um, and I was, I was gonna say I'm not particularly proud of this. I'm not really, but I don't, I honestly don't really care that much. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have done it. It's not a big, it's not a huge deal. I have shoplifted in the past, um, as, as a, as like a kid and as an adult as well. <laughs> um, not like, 
seriously? As in, like, wait a minute. Um, yeah, let's go in here first. Let's grab you. And then let's grab that. Um, not not in, like, a, a serious way. I've never, like, stolen a TV or something. But there used to be a... There used to be a shop that I used to go to on the way home from school a lot that had, like, penny sweets. Do you know, like, where you could buy, like, really cheap sweets for a couple of pence or cent or whatever you want to call it? Um, you see, yeah, you used to be able to get, like, really cheap sweets and stuff from there. Uh, I used to go there pretty much every day after school. But the way that they do it is they wouldn't, they wouldn't weigh what you got or they wouldn't, like, itemize what you had. You'd just tell the shop what you had in the bag and then you'd pay for it. Which is an awful way of doing it. So pretty much everyone, including myself, used to just like fill the bag up with way more stuff than you'd said. And then just tell them you had less than you had. Um, or you'd like pick a few up along the way and eat a few. <laughs> and then just pay for what you had in your uh, in your bag. Um, and then the other thing, which is definitely worse but not as bad, is self-checkouts have become a very common thing. Um, pretty good. Self-checkouts have become a very... I don't know how this is quality for an okay item. I wouldn't say it's quality for. Um, Self-checkouts have become a pretty common thing over the past like six or seven years. Um, and the, for those of you that don't know, don't go trying this. I don't condone this, but self-checkouts make it incredibly easy to steal things. Um, and on a few occasions, not a lot, it's not something I make a habit of, but if, for example, this is this is sort of the, the most classic example of it. Um... I, I went into a shop and they had a deal on that was two pizzas and a tub of Ben and Jerry's for, I think it was, I think it was like seven pound or something. It was a really good deal. Um, and I was like, oh, awesome. I really want that. But they only had, um, they only had like meat feast and margarita pizza left. They didn't have any pepperoni. But the deal, you specifically had to have a pepperoni and margarita for the deal to apply. Like, you couldn't have a different type of pizza. But the pizzas cost the same amount. Like, and they didn't have any pepperoni left. So I couldn't get the deal. So, so what I did is I was just like, well, I'm just not going to scan one of these pizzas and get it for the price that I should have got it for anyways. Because... I am lit you're literally getting the same amount of money that you should have been if you had pepperoni in stock. You are literally getting the same amount of money from me. I'm not going to pay extra because you, for some reason, oh, really? Made the deal only apply if you have the exact right pieces. It's like, no, go away. Don't think so. So I've sort of, I'll be honest, I've sort of made a habit of whenever I get annoyed with a shop's deal, I'm just like, eh, I'm going to make my own deal. It's not a good thing. I don't condone it, but eh. It's not as if um, it's not as if Tesco's and Ad Asda are uh, short on money. It's not going to break the bank for them, I don't think. Oh, I do not like this room. This room's kind of crowded. Yeah, it's, it's like I said, it's not something that I make a habit out of. I've probably only done it like a handful of times. Um. Probably only like five or six times, but it has happened on occasion where I'm just like, no, this this deal is bullshit. And then, oh yeah, another another example, um, another example. But this is this is one that I just did out of principle. Um, when I used to work in the same building as my girlfriend, I don't anymore. But when I used to work in the same building as my girlfriend, um, we we used to go down to the shop next door. One second, should take take a drink. We used to go down to the shop next door, and um, we'd like get our lunch and um, sometimes get like an energy drink and stuff and uh, in the UK you have to be 16 to purchase an energy drink right my girlfriend at the time was 23 years old and the uh, the person in the shop like refused to sell her it like said that um you don't have ID on you so I'm not selling you it um and so I went in straight after and tried to buy it and the guy was like, nope, I saw that you're with her. I'm not letting you buy it for her. So I was like, what the... F like, whose ass are you up? No, thank you, sir. So I just took it. <laughs> I was like, if you're going to be like that, I'm just going to go behind an aisle and put it in my pocket. <laughs> Don't be a dick. I, I, like, that that time, I was just it was just purely out of principle. I'm just like, hey, you 
like this pet like you could like, like the thing is as well I wouldn't mind if my girlfriend looked really young but she she I will say she looks a bit younger than she is but she doesn't look that much younger than she is um and uh yeah this guy was like giving a shit and and then on top of on top of on top of that she had a university staff ID badge she could literally prove with a picture of her face and her name that she worked at the university do you really think the university the university where you can only, where you have to be like 18 to attend or you're likely 18 if you're attending at least do you really think that place is going to be hiring people that are 16 it's just like you whose ass are you up like what are jobs worth i hate them that, that is a, a big pet peeve of mine. People that take their shitty jobs way too seriously. It's like, I kind of get it. Ooh, spoon bender. Ooh. Uh, how do I get that? How do I get the spoon bender here? Oh. Did that... What? I'm confused. How do I get the spoon bender? What? I want it. Is that just a troll? Like, how are you meant to get that? Maybe the, the description gives it away? No. It does not? I don't know. But yeah, that, that, that time specifically sticks out because I, I was just really annoyed. It's just like, yeah, people that just like have like if you've got like an important job i get taking it really seriously but when people have like um when people have like really su sucky jobs like that and they take them way too seriously it's like ah oh, for fuck's sake come on like um when i worked at um a, a, a shop like i <laughs> unless unless it was really obvious they were underage i barely ever id'd people although we didn't sell alcohol so it wasn't as big of a deal but yeah still i'm just like oh, for fuck's sake can you just not be a dick and try and like the thing is as well most shops like 95 percent of the shops especially in the uk will sell energy drinks to people that are 16 or under anyways it doesn't fucking matter like most shops don't even enforce that rule um and this person for some reason was up their ass and also also just 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 to reiterate another thing this shop is a shop we bought energy drinks from and she had and i had numerous times in the past like like probably a hundred times, this we, we'd already bought any drinks from this place. So it wasn't as if it was like this specific shop had this rule that they always enforce all the time. No, just this one specific person. Also, what is this guy? It's a very interesting version of you. I'm I'm having a very hard time hitting him right now because of where he's located. There you go, we got him. Cool boss though. Stem cells don't want it. Devil's dagger's decent enough. And then we'll take stem cells. Good, good, good. But yeah, like I said, it'd be interesting to hear what your um, what everyone else's degree of illegal activity is. So I think it, it does vary massively from person to person. It also, I think it says a good amount about what type of person you might be. Um... Like, it's definitely not, like, bad if you've never done anything illegal. It's probably better. <laughs> but I feel like almost everyone by the age of, like, 20 has done at least two or three things that are considered illegal. Psy Hunter. Dun, 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 dun. Do you know what I've been forgetting to do? I've been forgetting to blow up my goddamn, um... My goddamn statues. My next few devil deals, I need to blow up my statues. If I if I get them, that is. I think I saw a tinted rock back here. I did. I'm seeing if I can get some H HP stacked on the floor or on this floor, because there is a, a potential for me playing the sack room at least up to seven players to potentially get some angel deals. Ow, I just walked right into that one. We upgrade our dagger and that one as well, lovely. 
And there's a Dominic here as well. Death and Heartbreak. It's an active item. Unfortunately, without knowing what it does, it seems like a big risk to take that. Another Tinted Rock, wow. There's a lot of those this floor. Why do I always shoot that the moment I see it? I know not to shoot it, and yet I still do. Also, Haunted just showing up for some reason. Hello. Um, Slowing Tears, Tears Leave, Slowing Creep. Interesting. Right, donate a bunch more here. Good, good, good. Doing good on the donations. I haven't used this death card yet. We should be able to make boss rush here, I think. As long as we don't go drastically the wrong way here. Ugh. As long as we don't come across one of these fucking rooms. I'm just going to skip it. I honestly can't be asked. This room looks painful. I don't mind those when I'm not in a rush. But when I'm in a rush, I'm like, excuse me. Could you go away, please? Right. Ooh, stapler. Lovely. I need to be a bit quicker than I'm being right now, though. Yeah, I don't care about Wow Factor. Wow Factor's an interesting item, but it lags the game like crazy, so I'm going to say pass. You have to give me an enemy that I have to wait for as well. Lovely. Oh, this, wait, this is Mother. I didn't realise. Okay, I thought we were one floor. Okay, n no problem at all. I thought we were, like, one floor behind where we were. This wasn't an issue at all. Give us a devil deal, please. Did not get my devil deal, sadly. There's the negative. Mum's eye shadow. Standing still. Okay, we don't care about standing still. Bumblebee and Marked. I actually quite like Marked. <laughs> um, I'm going to take Marked. I think Marked is one of those things that people will be baffled that I, that I enjoy, but I actually do kind of enjoy it. Also, our dagger, I don't know if it's already max rank, but it's going to be soon because we are going to be leaving um, a lot of those um, thingies. Ooh, it does unfortunately seem that the dagger can't shoot diagonally with marked, though. So, something to keep in mind. Also, yeah, we're going to be getting a lot of charges of... Uh, a lot of charges of our um, active here, so basically, well, literally one every wave, so... Get quite a lot of slowdown out of it. Eight seconds per... Pretty good. This boss is annoying. But we killed him pretty quick. Yeah, honestly, the slowing here is going to be super good. Oh my god. The, I always forget that the slowing actually affects the, the, the death animation too. This is going to be our first run where we get to go to Hush and get to um, go to uh, the Dark Path as well. I'm really hoping we get the opportunity to go to a thingy here, but uh, to Mega Satan, but I think I've missed the mark on that one, I'll be honest. Got you. Where's the boss? Got him. Yeah, honestly, with the slowdown, like, we can basically kill enemies before, like, when they spawn before they can even attack sometimes. Pretty awesome. We just, as soon as the enemy dies, and the next one spawn, we pop it. We've got Kingpin here. I'm going to take out the bat first, honestly. The bat's going to be way less trouble. 
I love the noise the dagger makes as well. Do I honestly just sit here and... Oh, fuck. Kingpin! I think I had daggers at max rank now, because that would have leveled it up otherwise, I think. Right. Take her out, B butt. They're, they're doing a lot of damage, the daggers. It's pretty beautiful. Yeah, it's just annoying that it fucking slows the death animations here. Slow you down real quick. This is a fairly speedy and easy boss rush for us, I think. I don't think there's much worry about this one. Oh, I just used the slowdown for no reason there. It does still affect these guys, though. I didn't think it would if they weren't spawned. Good, good. Yeah, I'm going to need devil deals back to back on the next two floors, which I think I'm unlikely to get if I want to go mega certain here. Oh, you didn't die? What the hell? That's confusing. I thought you did. Like, three more waves, I think? We've been pretty quick here, so I wouldn't expect it to be much more than three. I wonder if picking up any gems after the final upgrade does anything. Also, it's nice that we get piercing through the daggers too. I never really considered that. I do keep getting hit here. It's pretty stupid of me, but it's not making an awful lot of difference. Ooh, we got this version of the, uh, of Famine. Is it Famine? No, it's, um, Sloth. Last wave. I'm thinking this is last wave at least. Can't say that for sure. Interesting pairing of bosses there. Oh, no, one more. And hello you. Slow you down just a little bit. our life just a little bit easier. There we go. Eve's Mascara unlocked. Oh! And Magic Mush to boot, which is actually not great for us because we're going to lose Horror Babylon, but I'm hoping for that Devil Deal to trade some of that HP away. Right, we are in time for uh, Hush here, we should be fine. Gotta remember that our dagger is no longer fully charged anymore, it is a pair floor thing. It doesn't stay fully upgraded forever. Which does mean that we don't have the as efficient piercing that, that we had in the last uh, boss rush stage there, but oh well. We'll get over it. I'm pretty sure this is the Herman guy. It is. We almost have enough keys as well, so let's keep our keys. We need at least six. Ooh, we have um, this, which is probably just worth taking. Yeah, let's just go for it. Don't change my color. Don't change the color of my screen, please. Thank you. We had enough tinted runs for now. There's, there's one boss. Good, good. This does make our next one pretty low chance, though. But now we can bomb this guy. Fight him up. We get ourselves one of the key pieces here, which we'll grab. And you also get a red chest as well for it, which is pretty nice. And then I think I'm going to leave those two. Right. 
We gotta hope that we get the 36% chance for a devil deal here. It's not, it's not a super likely chance, but we gotta hope for it. Because I completely forgot about it until now, so... My bad. But yeah, I really like the fact that, that there's now a devil key and an angel key. I think that's cool. For if you go to either path. We don't have to be super quick here because we basically skipped most of the last floor. We've got six minutes. Oh, is that, that's a red poop. Okay. Okay, maybe my tea, maybe my screen is tinted then. Yeah, it is tinted. It's just only very slightly tinted. I don't know what tinted it. Oh, for God's sake. You really poorly shithead. You you move at the speed of sound. Stop. God, these enemies are pretty hard to hit with marks. Yeah, nice. I'd like to get some health back before the boss now, but I'm not quite sure if that's going to happen. I don't know when I got a tinted screen. Must have been some something in Boss Rush that did it. These enemies are a pain. They just turn around so quickly. Oh, for fuck's sake, there were cysts there. I didn't see those. I'm just going to bomb them because they're just such a pain in the ass for me to hit with marks. I've lost way too much health, to be honest. Do you remember that I've also got to trade HP away to actually get my key piece if, it, if I get my devil deal too? So, it does not bird well for us right now. We did find our uh, thingy there. Oh, there is one enemy in here, I didn't realise. Right, slow this down. Come on, drop down, fool. Oh, for that brimstone was perfect. We did not get the devil deal. Heck. We can at least fight the lamb. We got to first kill the hush, though, which is, I don't know. <laughs> not super hopeful of that. Both of those are not very good. Salonine's the better one of the two are there. Quite a lot of fire rate, actually, there. Um, and I guess we take that and that. And then Broken Mask could give us some synergies. Leviathan, there you go. Hey, our health is looking good now. Good, good, good. Hey, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad at all. Right, now we're just going to try and get some gems, but they're going to be a bit hard to come by, to be honest. <laughs> really, only the enemies that he spawns are going to give us them. Honestly, the tonsil's not so bad. We're going to be stacking them up pretty quickly. I'm not paying attention to where the daggers are going at the minute, to be honest. I'm hoping we get a good few charges throughout this fight as well. Good thing is about this as well, I only have to focus on dodging. I can make very minor movements to my aim, but for the most part, I'll just focus on dodging. Try and move as much as possible to keep my damage bonus as high as I can get it. Move this to here. Get all the tonsil shot stuck on in there. Yeah, sadly we missed out on Mega Satan mainly because I'm just foolish and didn't really pay attention. But otherwise, not so bad. Unless we get a Joker card. We could potentially get a Joker card later down the line here. Lovely. Okay, we got him about a third of the way dead already. Pretty good going. Honestly, he's like double slowing right now, right?
This is the best way to keep my damage as high as possible. Although, unfortunately, we are going to stop moving as soon as these tears come over us. Yeah. Stop moving about here. God damn, there's so many tonsil shots stuck to him. They're really glitchy as well. You can see how bugged out they are right now. Oh, here's some enemies. So you're going to give us some um, dagger? Nope, they don't even give us the, the dagger gems. Sad times. No gemstones for this fight. This attack can be really annoying. Just got to kind of pay attention to it. Luckily, because of that slowing shots, everything's pretty slowed down. Okay, I did get hit once there. Oh my god, there's so much going on. There's so many tears on screen. Oh, for fuck. I just wish they'd make a boss that doesn't go underground all the time. It really, really annoys me when bosses, uh, like, games, like, build bosses with, like, these invulnerability frames that are just stupid. Like, I get I get bosses having invincibility faces sometimes, but some of these are just nonsense. Just artificially extending the fight for no real reason. It just pisses me off. Right, anyways, we got him. A theme. Oh, what a great unlock. Um, we could go to the void, but are we ready for delirium? Probably not, but it's our first time doing it, so why not? Why not give it a go? I kind of like this tint, to be honest. It makes everything look like the womb. Let's not try, try and not get hit too much here, shall we? I can't believe on this floor I managed to go to a dead end straight away. Right, this is a floor where... Getting our um, getting our gemstone to max level as quickly as possible matters a good amount. So get all the gems, all the all the daggers, gems, whatever you want to call them, that we can. I'm pretty sure I have a mod that makes delirium have a specific door, so we'll, we should know um, when we're entering the delirium fight versus a regular boss fight. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but I think I do. I definitely had it at one point. Ow. Oh, there's a blue fire there, for fuck's sake. Also, try and look out for tinted rocks, but I think it's going to be pretty hard to recognize them, to be honest. It'd be nice if there was some sort of counter for the gem thing, but I suppose it's maybe better than it's random. Crab. Good. There's certain enemies that if they spawn will get a crazy amount of gemstones on, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Oh god. Really annoying with a huge room like this and there's one teal enemy, one teal champion. It just throws the whole room off sometimes. But it does it does create some interesting challenges though. Rosary bead doesn't do too much for us in this situation. Right, let's do this boss. Slow this bad boy down. I, I think... Is that... Oh, Psyfly. What a great grab. Um, I don't think that's max level dagger. I think we've got one more level yet, but it looks very similar. It might be max nice level. This is actually one of the bosses we want to pay attention to for gems. Uh. I got hit there. Okay, no, I think now it's max rank. We are going to need significantly more health before we get to the boss. If at all possible. I'm hoping I just got like a hero font card. I'll find some tinted rocks around the place. Luckily, the teal enemies can drop HP like that. It's rather nice. Holy shit, there's some 
mean looking enemies in here. Are these some tainted enemies that I haven't seen before? They must be, right? They're really strong. I do like the fact that these uh, rooms exist now with uh, tainted enemies. Oh, I can't believe I didn't take damage there. I'm so sure I fucked that up. It's a different version of death. Or not? I thought, I thought it was, but maybe not. Oh, come on now. Um, that That is actually bad for us. We won't want to lose Horror Babylon. Crab. Blue Baby. Apparently Blue Baby has been changed. This will be my first time fighting new Blue Baby. And already I'm seeing something new. Oh, interesting. Ow. Oh. Okay, Blue Baby's pretty cool now. He's hard. He's a lot harder because I got hit twice there. Pretty cool though. Ooh, more damage multipliers. Nice. It's very hard to see what that actually did for me though. Very worried about my current HP. I'll be honest. I'm hoping he's just, yeah, in the air for long enough for us to get the kill here. That was the case. Bell Clapper. This is going to be a toss-up, I think. Oh, ho, ho, ho. How is Fruitcake quality 2? Literally how. It's one of the best items to ever exist. Fruitcake could be a, a tipping point for us. It is incredible. It could also deal some damage to us too, so we've got to remember that. We've also got Sci-Fly to remember about as well. We do want to make sure we turn off our constant firing, though. Walking through doors while firing could lead to us getting accidentally hit. Or accidentally hitting ourselves, should I say. Some of these tainted enemies are mighty strong. Have a lot of health. Yeah, definitely at max rank now with my, uh, my good old knives. It's a shame they can't fire diagonally, though. Oh, hello. Invoke D7 effects. Not particularly useful. This is a room that I could get hurt on a lot, because these bosses surround you. So basically my idea here is slow down everything and kill them before they get a chance to act. And I think I've managed to do that. Seemingly yes I have, okay. Death cap. Ah, unfortunately a bit late for that item. It's a good item though. I don't think this can give us health, but I'll try it. Nah, it should give us money. Although it's a quick room clear though, so I'll take that. Although, I say that, most rooms are actually bosses now, so it doesn't help that much, actually. That was tricky. The music here is wacky. Yeah, let's just do that. That's, a, that's an annoying room as it is. Yeah. 
trying to clear every room that I possibly can to get as many chances of getting extra health as I possibly can. Oh, right. Both of those had enemies in them. Wow, how have I been this many wrong ways without finding a boss? Is that all of them? No, we got one more here. Ho ho ho. Baby Plum getting baby annihilated. Like to see that. No spike chest for me, thank you. It's health. There's the delirium door. Okay, we don't have to do delirium yet, because if there's if there's more bosses available, which I don't think there is, it's better to do them first. Best to just check, find out. Fucking teal enemy. Right, I got one last avenue to check. We do have a one other room over there, but I'm not bothering checking that one. Yep, unfortunately, a whole lot of nothing. Just delirium left. Pro there probably is one of the boss down that other lane, but I'm not wa walking back all the way over there. Right, see how this goes. I'm hoping I can keep him in... Oh, I was hoping that maybe if I used the slowdown, I could keep him in his base form for a bit longer. One problem here is going to be that Marked is going to make it incredibly difficult to stay on target. I reckon there's about a 50-50 chance we kill him here. If he stays in his base form for a significant amount of time at any point, we should kill him very quickly. In fact, when we're, when we're able to hit him, we are doing a lot. It's just, I feel like with Marks, we're going to have a really hard time hitting him consistently. I barely know where he is most of the time. you got to remember Sci-Fly is helping out as well here, but that's not the end-all be-all. Sci-Fly is not immortal anymore. Come on, get into your base form. I love the off-screen indicators for this fight, especially. But being in a big room, being able to actually locate the boss quickly and easily with that indicator, very, very nice. I mean, well, like I said, we're doing significant damage and we've not lost a lot of health, but all it takes is one bad transformation and we could lose a lot of health very, very quickly. So I don't want to speak too soon. Slow you down again. That's really nice to get. You are way too up in my face. Yeah, I was just about to say, you're going to hit me, aren't you? That sort of shit's really annoying too when they transform and like move location rapidly because it takes me a while to sort of get readjusted to where the hell they are. And with Mark, that means significant time of me not hitting the boss. You of course, have the bullshit feet. And there you go, into base form to finish off the fight. Okay, that's our first Delirium kill. Very, very nice. Was not expecting to get it on EVE, I have to tell you, but... The first Delirium kill on a new save file certainly feels good. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. It was a lot of fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.